You are all extensions of source energy. There is not one of you that does not have access to infinite intelligence. You all have the ability to translate non-physical information. You all have something even better than what you are witnessing in Esther's ability to decipher energy and turn it into words. You have solar plexes that give you emotional responses. Sometimes people say, oh, Esther, you are so lucky because you can have a chat with Abraham anytime you want about anything. And we say they can. And it is interesting how infrequently they actually have a chat with us because they are really enjoying the utilization of their own guidance system. As Esther is driving the monster bus down the road with the Yukon in tow, all of that weight and all of that power and that great rate of speed flying down the freeway and we are aware that there's something out there in the road that is different than what she is wanting to experience she is not wanting to run over it if we had to take the time for her Esther it's good time for you to go in meditation and quiet your mind and stop chattering with Jerry and listen to us and get her attention as we are tugging on her shoulder or on her ear and now she's tuning in oh yes Abraham what is it that you want to say oh and by the way it's a very nice day isn't it and you noticed what a beautiful day it is by then she's run over whatever it is that's in the road that we are trying to guide her around where if she is just in her joyful state of being she receives an impulse to slow down or an impulse to look more clear or an impulse to exit the road or the impulse to change lanes and you are all receiving these impulses all day every day as the universe is conspiring to assist you in living the life experience that you are wanting to live there is not something that is going on for which you have to overcome or compensate in other words you are not unworthy and now needing to work your way out of this unworthiness you are the most worthy of the beings who have existed anytime anywhere and well-being is the legacy that is promised to you and the entire universe is conspiring to work things out for you and they are working out for you and they are showing up in your life to the degree in which you will allow them to flow in other words life is being as good to you as you are letting it be and it wants to be insanely good to you in other words if you could get a glimpse of what's going on in your vibrational escrow and the fortunes that have been amassed there and the ideas and the relationships and the clarity of life that is there for you and so that's why we call this gathering the art of allowing and it could as easily be called the art of getting off my own back or the art of giving up my own self-imposed limitations or it could be called the art of letting go or the art of lightening up the art of chilling out the art of not making a big hairy deal out of everything in other words it is the art of just relaxing and acknowledging that life is supposed to be good and is being good and oh look there's evidence of it for me and look there's evidence of it for me and oh look there's evidence of it for me you are in competition for no resources whatsoever you are as worthy as it gets there is not one who is more deserving of well-being than you and it's time for you to admit that on your own terms and practice what it would feel like how would life be different if I really knew that I am worthy how would life be different if I really knew that everything was supposed to go my way let those questions sort of move around in your mind a little bit and let life be for you what you have carved it out to be you are magnificent creators and it has been our honor to interact with you you are the leading edge of that which we are and there is so much appreciation here for that which you are about there is great love here for you and for now we are complete